how to get started with fighting games and have fun, how to play great fast, don't give up on fighting games. There are many people telling you to play fighting games, but have you seen someone actually learn fighting games? Well, I set out to learn fighting games and I got destroyed, wrecked, annihilated. But I did manage to get better though. Anyway, here's my story. I am an average gamer, never had any actual fighting game experience. But I did have years of experience watching tournament on Twitch. I always thought I can never do something like that. But Street Fighter 6 is coming soon and it's looking real nice. So I figured this might be the best time to start. And to make it more interesting, I'm setting some goals for myself. First, I will learn at least two characters. Second, I will try to climb the goal and get you to subscribe. And please subscribe because even though I'm doing this for fun, your comments and your support still means a lot to me. So be sure to subscribe, like this video, and ring that bell. Thank you so much. Back to the videos, after I set up my goal, I bought Street Fighter V, found an old arcade sticks, and began my first fighting game experience. Wait, that's it? So according to a post on Reddit, my first step should be finding a main, and apparently how I pick does not matter. So I look at the tier list, pick the best character in the game and start the practice in trial. However, I just don't like him as a person. So I ditch Luke and find someone better. For those who I wish to protect, I will fight you. Cammy looks amazing and her costume designs are impeccable. I cannot appreciate her character design more. Anyway, I started using her in trial mode. Just to give you some background, trial mode requires you to perform the character's moves and combos, and each trial will get harder than the previous, so it can help you learn the character and find your main. So when I'm going through this mode, it can be a struggle sometimes. I could stuck on a move for a bit without knowing why I can't perform the combo. But I believe I did pretty well. Well, after all, it only took me 17 minutes to beat the first 9 trial. And that builds confidence. But that confidence crumbled real fast in the final trial. Just guess how long I spent on this one. Come on, take a guess. 54 minutes! Why didn't I jump after free trigger? Where is my cannon spike? And why didn't I use my super? Look, I know I shouldn't be upset because this is my first day and all. But doing this over and over again is really not good for my mental health. But... Eventually, I finished it. Yes. Mm. It was glorious. After the trial, my wrist is in pain after playing with my stick so much. Wait, wait. Anyway, my wrist hurts and I have decided I cannot let my day end like this. I gotta play against actual human. By the way, this is just too much setting for matchmaking. Minutes and a half later. First match, let's go! Right. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hit him, yeah, woo! Oh. By now, you should be able to know that I have no idea what I'm doing. It was fun though, not gonna lie, but playing like this is definitely not what I set out to do. You don't need a genius to know, you can't always mash attack in a fighting game. It may look cool when I get a lot of hits in, but in reality, I should be doing less. Later I got my first win was because my opponent is actually mashing. After this, me back then also realized there are something wrong. I need to make up a game plan, or maybe make a switch or something. <laughs> yeah, it's whipping time! 
Poison is a great looking sonar and with her, I hope that I can stop myself from mashing too much and hopefully did a better job than what I did with Cami. I'm not good enough for her. After picking her, I started go training. And if you don't know what a sonar is, well, just whip him and run away. Yes, now I know this is not a good plan, but it was good at that time. I started reading more, but the game still have ways to tell me there are much to learn. On the next day, I started to learn the game a bit more, actually executing my zoning game plan, learn how to space and actually time my attack. But most importantly, I spend more time losing the game. When everyone tells you don't have high expectation when you started, this is why. But hey, the second day, all you can do is remember this experience and hopefully you figure out how to deal with that the next time you see it. And why can't I play more than 3 games against the same person? The only way to find out if I ever learn is to hope that I mash him again, I guess. Also, the lag. Granted, it doesn't always happen, but when it does, it was bad. It was much later that I found out that I could check my opponent's connection before I got thrown into the match. Make sure you do that if you want a decent game. Also, if you see a bot, remember to blacklist them. But why do you use bot to grind money? I'm pretty sure your electrical bill is going to be more expensive than the DLC combined. And on day 3, I'm getting better with poison and actually seeing someone that is worse than me. So obviously, I've gotten more confidence to climb the rank. And for my first opponent in rank is... Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, yes. Let's go! Poison is known Make them yep. you already know. Oh. Luckily, you can blacklist them in game so you don't have to see them again. To sum up day 3, well, I did exceptionally well. I got the super bronze at the end of day 3. Am I the next fighting game god? No. Most matches I won was probably against new player. So as long as I stay calm, I should be able to win like 70% of them. But some players been here for quite some time. Not only they are obviously more experienced than me, and I have no idea how to play against that character and their game plan. Instead of years of knowledge and experience, all I have is just one singular combo. Crush counter, free skill, and super. Sounds like a lot, but all I did is press two button and started mashing. And if that's all you need to win in fighting games, then I'll say it, fighting game is easy. But it's not. Just because you have one gimmicks or combo, but that doesn't mean it will always win you the game. I can still throw the game away in many other styles. Anyway, I ended the day in Super Bronze, but let me tell you, the pain is coming. On day 4, I just kept losing. Non-stop. I think this clip sums it up nicely. <laughs> I've lost so many games that day. I just thought to myself I cannot end the day like this and kept playing. It is not good for my mental health. And I try my best to study everything I lose in my matches. I play more and practice more. In the end, I managed to crawl my way back to Super Bronze. It is clear that what I've been doing is not enough. I need something outside the game to help me get better. But where would people talk about something like this? Reddit and YouTube! Please subscribe. The Street Fighter communities has a lot of resources to offer if you're a newcomer and want to learn. From basics like how to learn Street Fighters, to an in-depth guide of every single character in the game. You can even learn from the pro players if you want to. And if you really don't find an answer to your questions, just go to their Discord and I'm sure someone is willing to teach you. One time I posted a clip on Reddit and people started arguing what is the best advice for me. I swear to you, this community is more eager to teach new players than the Capcom themselves. So be sure to check them out today. Back to the video, what happened now? Well, I'm going back to practice, but this time with more knowledge and a purpose. Instead of practicing the combo mindlessly, I started studying her and practice my accuracy by doing the same moves over and over again. Yes, this is not the most entertaining stuff, but doing this when the game is searching for a match is somehow bearable. Also, I need to activate my brain to react and adjust my game plan based on my opponent 
knowing me, it would be a struggle. And yes, I've lost a lot of game. But whenever things start working, it was the best. I still remember punishing people who spam too many fireballs, or when I understand how to punish unsafe moves, like this Rashid right here. Or the next Bison match. He kept using teleport against me, but later I found out neutral jumps can help me punish him. Even better, my heavy punch hit him during his slides, and this leads to me winning the game! This might not be any majors or tournament at all, but these wins shows that I'm improving, which is what I set out to do. Seeing yourself improve match after match is definitely the best feeling you can get in fighting games. However, whenever there's good, there's always something bad. I'm not talking about my descent to madness after losing over and over again. Take a break, cool yourself down. It helps, trust me. What I'm trying to say is that I'm a grown man. I don't rage that easy. Oh, you're taunting. I know I'm shit. You got this fair and square. I'm not mad. What about teabagging? Well, I'll do that too. It's just some fun interaction. But there's one type of people I just cannot stomach. They are better than me, no doubt. They would beat me up in the first game, but in the next game, they stop playing. In the most extreme cases, they would beat me down to one fourth of health, then they would stop doing anything. Now you're just wasting my time. All I want is to play Street Fighters. Why are you denying me that? But you know, after this, I have one chance to redeem myself, but I did not take it. I still lost. Why am I suck at this game? I play against the same bar player later. I'm grateful to tell you that I've won against him. But he dodges my rematch! I need to calm down. Final thoughts. If I tell you right now that I have achieved all my goal, I would be a liar. But there are a few questions that I want to answer first. Is fighting game hard? Yes, from the control, knowledge, and game sense, Everything was hot, but it's definitely not this hot. Believe it or not, I've only played this game for about 40 hours. But there are many more hours that I've spent outside the game looking for ways to improve and learn. Even when I'm editing this video and other highlights, I'm basically reviewing my gameplay. So maybe add 5 or 10 more hours to my total game time. The time I spend in total to just get decent is surprisingly high. But luckily, those hours makes the time I spend playing the game more fun because I found more people with equal skills as I got better instead of just one or two masher. Plus, it can actually help me understand what happens in the game when I'm playing against someone who heavily outclassed me, making the experience less frustrating. So, is it fun? Yes, but you might need a bit of practice to get to that fun point. This may sound like a lot, but in reality, you still spend most of the time playing the game. And trust me, as long as you are willing to learn, fighting games will always be fun for you. Finally, should you play fighting games to prepare for Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, or any other title? If you are asking yourself this question and are not looking to farm karma, don't ask, just do it. For me, I will keep playing more, hopefully. I am currently in silver, still closing in on that gold rank, Maybe the next time you see me talking about fighting games, I will be there. That will be all for this video. I hope you enjoy my journey of trying Street Fighter V. More videos will come, so be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.